All right, so we got a McGuire round tripper. Might be worth a couple bucks. And uh, Tony Fernandez is traded from the Padres to the Mets. And if you didn't remember that he played for the Mets, he wouldn't be the only one. So behind the scenes, uh, you know, the uh, card collector daughters, they're checking out some prices and looking up some of these cards and we found, uh, you know, we're actually, we're actually making a couple bucks. Might be, might be some money. Might be some money in some of these bad boys. All right, so we got a Bobby Jones, Bobby Jones star rookie. And I got to be honest with you. Uh... We got ourselves a Mike Trombley. Oof. And heck, that was good for like two years. What else we got here? Oh, Bash Brothers. Not the original Bash Brothers, but just a couple of Bash Brothers. After they got rid of Conseco, they brought in Ruben Sierra to replace Conseco, and that worked out well for them. And dog. What a great card. Look at look at how they took a picture over his crotch. Like, what a shot. Mattingly. These bad boys are stuck together. Oh, there's a You know what else isn't worth shit? Yeah. It's hard to say. I mean, you know, you give props all these guys. There's only X amount of major leaguers that make it to the show. Got a monitor. But, you know, over time, they just fade in in the background. And nobody, nobody really remembers who 97% of these guys were. And they got their cards. The spokes of my bicycle. Not even sure that they're worth that much. Got ourselves a uh, 87 tops. Stick of gum. I'm gonna go ahead and chew on this one. Tastes like shit. See what we got. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Dishes. So I'm gonna tell you something about late '80s, early '90s baseball cards. The big problem here was that um, nobody gave a shit. They mass produced these things, and you get yourself a Reggie Jackson. You're like, oh, Reggie Jackson, fucking awesome, playing for the Angels, but he probably played for the A's at the time. You know, he was on his farewell tour, like. You know, but the thing is, is they mass produce these things because they're flooding the market with these fuckers. And, you know, they, they were just pieces of cardboard. It was, you know, nobody was like, oh, I gotta have a Ricky Henderson, Reggie Jackson, Mark McGuire, Don Mattingly. I don't have to have these 87 wood grain bordered tops cards. It was, it was not a well-desired card. It was well-designed, but it wasn't well-desired. So, yeah. Nobody gave a shit. You know who gave a shit about this card? His parents. Again, when you open up a pack and you're like, fuck, I got myself a Steve Burrows manager's card. I hope I can trade that for a fucking, you know someone else as a manager to complete my set. Like, really? Steve Boros, how much are you worth? Seven, eight cents? 
not even worth the, they should have put the gum on your back. These cars are shit. Hey, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what we do. That's what we do. Go through the cars. Some of them are shit. Some of them are good. Let's go back to some 93 Fleer. I saw some 93 Fleer right here. You know, in about uh, 10 minutes, I'm gonna take a little break. And, uh, you know, I think I need to drink heavily after, you know, opening some of these cards because I, I just, there's a Robbie Alomar. Maybe a couple bucks. Right there, Robbie Alomar. It's gold foil. Anybody ever remember that time that Kurt Young was traded to the A's? Yeah, yeah, he pitched for the A's. I think this dude was on Deep Space Nine, Charlie O'Brien. Oh, wait, no, that was Cole Meany. And the most rare and exceptional card in any pack is the checkoff card. I want to make sure that I get every fucking player on every one of these cards on these teams. Because if I don't have them, I can't complete my set. I can't complete my set. How dare I? But, you know, the fact that that was a card. God, I hope it's worth at least two cents. Thompson, I like the guy. Was all the shit. Another outstanding pack by Fleer ninety three right there. Let's, uh, let's move on, shall we? Right. Oh, it's some eighty nine tops, folks. Eighty nine tops. I know what you're thinking, like, you know, I'm in a monotone voice, I'm not super excited about this shit, but, you know, I'm just, you know, from a real standpoint as a collector, somebody who's here, just breaking cases just for fun, just for you, you know, I try and keep that excitement to a minimum because, you know, until I find the Holy Grail, this is just, I mean... How excited can you get over a Greg Gagne? I would challenge all of you on YouTube to go and try and order this shirt right here. Um, all you need to do is uh, probably send $17.99 and like 30 proofs of purchases, and I think you might be able to get that shirt, um, which, like, is super awesome. Look at that shirt. Gonna go really good with your Scott Corral. Um, I mean, see, in fact, you know what? This guy's doing amazing things for the uh, Chicago White Sox right now. Like, that's a card right there where you wonder, like, why do you have to show his Johnson? I mean, like, you know, come on, bro. That's kind of an awkward pose. And as a manager, you shouldn't be showing your junk to everybody else, you know. Just can't say enough about some of these cards right now. I just... We're piling up the good stuff, folks. Now, here's the deal. And when I say here's the deal, here's the deal. The deal is that at the end of this, after I'm done breaking all these suckers open... I'll sell them to you. You message me below. I'll sell you the whole shebang. I'll sell you the, all the stuff that it's, hasn't been picked through by all the high, high dollar collectors out there. And, you know, I'll, 
tell you the whole lot. I'll sell you every box. I'll sell you everything. I'll sell you Daryl Strawberry before he had Coke up his nose. Don Slot. Look at that batting stance, folks. If that would make it in today's Major League Baseball. I don't know what would. Trevecki when he had two arms. Like, I, I just look through these cards and I say, like, who wouldn't want a Dave Collins except for Dave Collins and his parents? Andy Adi. Barry Jones and that fucking hat. Like, look, make me an offer on the Barry Jones. With the hat alone, this card should be worth at least, like, six or seven cents. But I gotta be honest, with that hat, ten cents. Make me an offer. Eddie. All right, folks. Now, I'm going to tell you right now that we might just have found the holy grail of this set. This right here, this is going to be a Bonds. I don't know if it's a rookie, but this is as close to a rookie as possible. And this card right here just made our fucking box. Not even fucking you right now. I've looked this card up before. I've not had any success, but this card right here, this is an, a mint 10. Perfectly, almost perfectly centered. This bonds right here could potentially be worth three to four hundred dollars. So I'm gonna set this one off to the side. You can, you can drool. I'll show it to you later, but you can drool over it. Boggs, Don Asshole, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Don Ass, eh? All right, now in the same pack that we just pulled, all right, this was the fucking Holy Grail pack right here, folks, because in the same pack we pulled the Bonds, we also pulled the Maguire. If you look on the back, this is Maguire's basically rookie card. He has an 86 USA card. This is like McGuire's, uh, you know, I realize he looks a little different because he's not on juice step right there, you know, in the bonds. But, you know, just think about it as they were young kids. They didn't know anything about the, the, the juice. So we just pulled two phenomenal cards out of the same pack. And we're going to check the price on these bad boys here in a few minutes. We followed it up with a goddamn Floyd Bannister. So, you know, it's, it's tit for tat. Really. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going back to 86. Tops. In case you can't tell off screen, um, my daughter is super impatient. She didn't want to uh, wait for me to open these on YouTube. So she's opening her own cards over there super excited about the fact that uh, I think she got a well, well let's just say she ain't got shit over here we're looking at some cards and we're thinking about Richard Dotson and um, how much of a shitty player that guy was and uh, alright folks Nolan Ryan 86 Oh, Ryan had already played for 20 years by the time this card came out. But because this card is in such good shape, because it's a Nolan Ryan, this card actually could be possibly worth in the area of 50 bucks. So we're going to put that card off to the side. And we follow that one up with uh, Mike Flanagan. That fuck Mike Flanagan. Oh, John Say, he was good. Al Napier, really like the fact that he's got this jacket wide open. Looks like he's from a porn video. Davis, Ron Deer, Bailey, Ozzy Smith up on the side. Leon, Jim Sunberg, great card. Corbett. 
and uh, Lord Near. If we go to uh, to Fleer, nineteen ninety. Oof. Oof. Way to lead that off with the action series. Um, sticker, I guess. It's got some baseball quizzes and some stickers, and basically it's just a piece of shit. Garbage. Sosha. Finley. McGuire. Another McGuire. All right, we'll check that out. Robin. My fear is always opening up a pack of these cards and on the back, you know, the best card has the bomb on it, so it gets all fucked up like that. But uh, here, the good news was that uh, the Atlanta Braves leaders was um, that guy, who I'm only assuming could be Dale Murphy, but the card's all fucked up. Nobody gives a shit. So, so we'll take a look at some of these bad boys here. Ooh, Atlee Hammaker. Handsome Devil. Kevin Bass. Again, the goddamn checklist cards. Fucking worthless. The worst card in the deck. And the people that invented these things should be fucking shot because of I read over. Another worthless card. The well, one thing Tops could have done better was they could have uh, put all the goddamn cards in the same facing direction because you know, I, I really need to waste my time going up and down and up and down. Golly fingers, good condition. Oh, Grolly. In and playing and playing to finish his career with the Giants. Uh, yeah, he hadn't made it there yet by this time. Alright, folks, we're getting down to the last few packs here for this breakout. Uh, you know, what I think we'll do is, that, you know, moving forward, that uh, maybe we'll up a bid for somebody to buy into some of these packs see what we get uh, Mike Maddox who is a great pitching coach but he's the shittier of the two Maddox brothers God. I can't believe Joe Victo didn't pan out he's destined for greatness Jackson. Probably handed the ball to him one too many times. Mattingly. Probably worth a couple bucks. Nothing says I love Detroit more than resting your hand on your face in the dugout rather than actually playing sure that Mark Leiter did better things in other uniforms other than that uniform. That is a perfect card for somebody who is... Um, does anybody remember Kyle Lavitt? Because I sure as fuck don't. But thankfully, we know what his job was. He was carrying the trash can. Or, uh, the rest of his teammates are picking up their shit around the field. So, good for you, Kyle Abbott. 
Black Bay. This was the pack of cards where everybody was jumping. They just said it was a jumping pack. Carlos Garcia. Uh, the only thing this guy's going to be known for is his long legs. Marquis Grissom. Um, might be worth a couple of bucks. He stole a lot of cases. Probably a cool dude in real life, too. Eighty six. Eighty six. It's eighty six. Good news about this eighty six pack is that the uh, gum came in three pieces. I'm totally gonna chew down on that later, and I will let you know. Oh, good news! This one came with two pieces of gum. They were both in three pieces. And I'm totally, totally. Chewing down on that later. And I will tell you all about the uh, stomach ache that I have and how much medication I had to take after that bullshit. All right, so starting off, Roger Clemens, 86. Actually, a really fucking good card right there. It's not as rookie, but um, it's, it's a pretty damn good card. And it's centered, mostly. It's... Definitely got some crisp corners. We're going to check the price on that guy for us. Um, and we follow that up with a Neil Allen. I don't know who the fuck Neil Allen is. I don't really care. Daryl Boston. Daryl Boston actually used to be one of my favorite players back in the day. Um, nobody said the same for Chuck Tanner. Nobody said, fuck, I got to have me a Chuck Tanner. Because... Tanner is going to complete my team set. And I got to be honest with you. Um, Chuck Tanner, I'll know you. I don't care. Got ourselves a Keith Hernandez All Star. Bobby Meekum, that. That's a Santana. Steve Carlton. Leader. Let's see. Who could this possibly be? Probably, um, uh, uh, is it Tom Seaver? Nobody cares. Dan Gladden. Yeah, we have seen Dan Gladden. We got ourselves a Spike Owen or her. Yeah, nobody cares. Let's go back to the 86 box here. I'll go ahead and bust open another pack. Gum. Garbage. Fernandez. Burger. Best card ever. Saberhagen. Maybe. Dale Murphy. Okay, so let's talk about Dale Murphy for a second. Dale Murphy was one of the best all-time all Atlanta Braves. Right behind Hank Aaron. Uh... He signed with the Colorado Rockies when they were an expansion team, and let me tell you, really fucking hurt the Dale Murphy trading card circuit because he didn't do shit with them. But this guy was a stud. He played with the Braves. So we'll hold on to that one. No clue. No clue. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Never heard of you. Craig Nettles. Might have been nice. Brant. had almost zero A's cards and this is the fucking first one I get. Rob Piccolillo. And nobody cares. These cards suck. Alright. We're going to go over to uh, some Upper Deck. This is an Upper Deck 90 in the Upper Deck. Looking for a Griffey Jr. If we can find a Griffey Jr. And uh, yeah, pretty much just shit ourselves and go to sleep. Nope. 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 Chris Quinn. Uh, 
Liv Tony, Oracle of the other Gwyn, never lived up to the hype. Send me fifteen dollars, I send you this in the mail. I'm joking, you message me below. I probably send it to you for free, but I'm a crook, better commentator than you probably was a baseball player. Okay. Listen, if I had one baseball card and I was just like, you know, first off, if I was Randy McCrammett. And this is probably my only baseball card. Like, I would want to make sure I had a better fucking picture than this. Because that makes you look like the short bus pulled up to the stadium and they said, go put on a uniform and throw the first pitch out. Um, I know I'll get lambasted for that, but I just got to tell you that everything we say on this channel is for fun, joking around. I know it's not fun to make fun of people with a disability, but come on, look at the card. Got ourselves a Mattingly. Alfred E. Newman from uh, Mad Magazine. Very popular. Um, I don't know who that's supposed to be. But if you look at the back, is Von Hayes. I look at Von Hayes and I say, Von, nobody cares. And Damon Berry Hill. Great card. Great card. All right, folks, we're down to the last few packs here. Let me tell you. Be able to have fun with you, folks. I want to be able to talk a little turkey and make a little fun and do a little jagging, jabbing. But I don't want you to take this too serious because, you know, at the end of the day, it's not all about being too serious, it's about having fun. We got ourselves a bit. That, 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 I don't know what these are. I say these are garbage. Oh, a Kirby Puck, a Kirby Puckett. A second year Kirby Puckett, but probably a good one. These are all the good people at Top America for putting out so many pieces of shit cards. Going to the home stretch here. Got ourselves back into the 93 Fleer. Or, uh, Deshaies signed by the Twins. Good for him. Kept his playing career going on. No one gives a crap. There's uh, this man right here. I actually dislike more than any sports figure I've ever known in my life. And, uh, Save that for another day, but this man right here, he could burn his card in hell. Andy Johnson with the Mariners. Not a rookie. Definitely not a first year. It's probably his seventh, sixth, fifth year. So that's worth. There's a Dale Murphy. Played for the Phillies. 
Uh, still can't see him in anything other than a Braves or a Rocky uniform. Anything. Kevin Moss. Albert Bell. Albert Bell. What great things can we say about Albert Bell? That already been said. So we'll check the price on that Albert Bell. Let's get in the last four packs here. We got the last four. And then upload this bad boy on the YouTube. See how many people really enjoy watching people open baseball cards on a Thursday night. And Sandberg. Sandberg. Couple bucks. Bautista. Little Kershizer uh, you know, card. Check that one out. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh huh. Key. Definitely worth at least 17 cents. Uh -huh. Nope. 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 Now, let's just analyze this card for a second, but if I was getting a baseball card made of myself, and like it was one of, I don't know, it's number 379 in the set, but my best picture was on the back side instead of the front side because you couldn't see my eyes because I was looking down at the field and my face was covered with a hat. And on the back side, I was pointing at somebody yelling like, hey, why did you make my front picture look so bad? Um, Otis Nixon, you have a gripe. You know, I know you're playing for Montreal. That sucks. But that's not the card you want. So, all you Otis Nixon fans out there, like, I'm sorry that this is the card that Upper Deck decided would really represent your player the best. Because neither one of these pictures are really that flattering. So... But then again, you could be this guy. Alright, we're getting down to the uh, last couple packs of the night. What we got here? We got the uh, triple gum. Everybody, triple gum. Message me below if you'd like for me to save you some of that gum. I would totally send it to you. Free of charge, actually. Um, actually, not free of charge. What's going to happen is, if you want that gum, then I'll send it to you. In the mail. But then you're going to have to take a video of you chewing that crap and send it back to us. Uh, I don't think you want to do that. So, anyway... Let's move on. John Kittle. That's that's a great card. That guy's not even wearing a number on the back of his jersey. Like, great job, Rafael Palmero, shaking the hand of the Bat Boy with no number on his back. complete the set. Now I've got the Tom Troublehorn manager card for the Brewers and it'll go right along with my uh, Phil Gardner and anyone else that played for the Brewers at the time. That was a needed card. Thank you. And every other card company for wasting your time. Else, Mark Davis. I gotta be honest, these are horrible. All right, 
It's so the night. The 91 Fleer first. Or Fleer on. Braves logo sticker. Arms. This might be a Sheffield third year card. Yeah, maybe worth a couple bucks. All right, here we are. Final pack of the night, right, folks. We will randomly open 20 to 40 packs every night until these boxes are gone. And I'm not going to tell you what card I just saw in the back. But I will tell you that that card right there really hurts me. Because Maguire should be elbow bashing Canseco. But Canseco was traded for Sierra. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't ever remember this guy. So I don't get this guy. That's kind of stuck together. Bobby Alomar, Greenwell. Green, Jose Rio. Again, with the Jose Lean, look at my crotch card. Come on. Do better. Billy McGee playing with the Giants. Sacrilege. Brian Barnes. Very all right, folks. I teased it a little bit earlier when I opened this pack up, and I was like, yeah. But uh, no, it's not Alex Fernandez, nobody gives a shit about Alex Fernandez. But we got ourselves a uh, Griffey Jr. And this Griffey Jr., although it's not his rookie card. Um, you know, this is a, this is a 93 Griffey in mint condition, which we're going to put over in the, uh, to get graded pile. Um, that's a, that's a good card. That's a good score. Now, folks. We've opened some cards tonight, and I think that we've come up with quite a number of cards that we're going to go take a look at and see, you know, just how much we can trade them out for and what they might be worth. But uh, every night we will open some packs of cards from all our boxes. We will break them open and... Uh, you know, if you see something you like, you can message us below. Tell us what you like. We can hold it off for you, sell it to you. We could trade you. Um, you know, we're open to whatever. At the end of the day, folks, this is about having some fun. Opening up some cards that have been sitting inside some boxes for a long time. And, uh, you know, reliving some, some of the old days. I want to thank you for coming along with us tonight. I uh, hope that this has been a little bit of a, you know, entertainment for you. 
And uh, if you want to get in on some of this action, you want to talk to me about some of these cards, you want to, you know, go down history, you know, the old history lane, you know, just get a hold of me. Let's talk about it. But uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for the night. Thank you for watching. Enjoyed you. And we'll catch you the next time.